Hello guys, today we're going to take a closer look at the Unistech 100 Ampere and 400 Ampere battery monitors. These are a great improvement over the old one that I did last year. Because the new ones, new ones has a negative temperature protection. We're going to take a look at this. First, do a quick unboxing. Inside the box we have uh, some foam of course. Very nice uh, instruction manual. It describes every button, every connection, everything. Very nice. You have the shunt. This is an extremely big one. This is the 400 amp shunt um, monitor, which then has, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it says 500 amps. If I do this, 500 amps, it should say over here. And the other one has a much smaller shunt. If you compare them, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this one has, this is the 100 amp, which then has, uh, I think it says over here, I think it says 200 amps. Uh, today I want to do the 100 amp uh, connections. So I'll save this for later. The rest that's in the box is, of course, the very important temperature probe, which then records both high protection and low temperature protection. You have this uh, little connection, which then again goes into the main box on the side here. Let's see if I can manage to connect that one. Looks like this. It also has a long cable. I don't remember the length. I will put it in writing here. This is the connection for the, let me see here. This is the display. And then you have something called a link. Yeah. I'm not sure about the link. It's something about the computer, I think. Clicks inside. And then you have the display itself, which is a nice color display. Here you connect the other end of the cable into this nice snap. Okay, that was all that was in the box. Let's do the wiring and test the new app and everything. Okay, first startup. Let's press on. This is what's happening. Everything is on zero. It's easier to start the app to do the settings. This is the old app, this is a new one. Let's see if it finds it. Yes, it does. Do that. Here we have the app, and you get the message. The battery, you need to set the battery setting first. Here we have to guess because I don't know how much the battery is charged. So let's put this one and you need the ampere hours, which on my is 30. Then you get an uh, estimate of the battery. When you charge it fully first time, then you can go and change this to 100%. But for now, let's set it to 75. Then, we have the interesting thing, it is the settings for the temperature probe, which is have over here. Protect settings, and you have low protection. Let's put that to 15 degrees, just to do it easy for me. And you have over temperature protection, let's put that to 25. Then you have a very interesting thing over here, protection recovery time. If this is set to zero, you will have to manually press OK every time the alarm goes off. If you put this, let's say one second, it will reset after one second. We shall take a look at that. Then you have all the other one over voltage, let's say 14.6, low voltage 11.8, overcharging current protection, Charging 
cur overcurrent protection, discharging overcurrent protection, overpower protection, over temperature protection, as we're talking about, lower capacity reminder, let's set down one to 20%. This one is okay, and this is the time it takes for the protection to open the relay or something. I will leave that for nothing, so it goes off instantly. Here you can change the relay mode, open or closed. Mine is open. And you have, of course, advanced settings. I don't know the full voltage and the full current, so I'll leave that one for now. Discharge voltage, I will leave for now. Detection time, Ad set address for the computer. Zero current memory, restart, reset factory, and the firmware update. I don't have the code, so I can't help you with that right now. Return button. And you have some curves, charging curves, and so on. And something about everything. But that is almost identical to the other app with the, which I have reviewed last year. So we, we just will jump into the temperature settings protections. That is the interesting thing. Let me connect the battery. Like this. And give me a second. Battery connected, it is charging, four point something amperes. We can also set this uh, displays. If you like, you can put it uh, to 100 amp if you like, and then the, sc the scale will be very, very big. So let's put it to 10 amps. And this one as well is the same. You can put up to 120 volt and down to Let's say 20, 19. And you get the maximum to 19. And you get the more appropriate scale. The sensor, which is the interesting one. And we put it to, like we can see it over here, about 21 degrees. So if I do some free spray, and the temperature will be dropping on both sides. And the alarm will sound. And you see it's seven degrees. So if I hold this one and heat it up a little, the alarm will also, the message will disappear by itself, or you can press OK. And there, we're back on. And also the other way, if I keep holding it until it passes 25, you will get an over temperature alarm. And you can press OK to reset this, or you can wait five seconds. And there is no charging. If I cool it down a little, and there the relay clicks, and you have back on charging. <laughs> this is amazingly nice. To make this work, you need an external relay. See, the external relay is connected. Let me stop this one first. Press stop. The external relay is connected over here. And it goes here. It's very bright, is it? And then I have connected over here. Let me do it like this again. There we have it. And this relay will now cut the voltage to the battery every time the protection is cutting in, which is very nice, very nice feature. Let's uh, set this to discharge and see what's happening. If I connect this one and turn off the power supply, then the display changes color and it's go to discharge mode. You can see it says discharge here. If I put on the power supply again, it will change color and it will say charge. Turn it off. 
<laughs> this is so nice. You unsec guys. Let's uh, test the temperature sensor when we are uh, discharging. When it passes 25 degrees, it should cut out. Yes, it did. It removes the load, so it's zero discharge. And if I cool the sensor down a little. Oh, and then it cuts out on the lower, of course. Heat it up a little again. So it works both ways. And there we're back on discharge. That is also good to know. We can do a quick walkthrough to the menus. You press set. Very nice menus compared to the other one, which was only writing. Here we have uh, nice icons. Date and time, you see it down here. And you can set. Okay, you get it, and then, ah, sorry, then you have the language, you have two choices, Chinese and English, you have the sound, which is on-off, no beep, beep, temperature, uh, you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit, here you have the battery ampere hours, which you can then set by pressing this. Yeah. Battery capacity is the same. Okay. Sorry, my fault. There we have it. You have two light settings: one for daylight and one for nighttime, daytime and nighttime. And you can choose here if you want to have 100% or on the daytime. Default was 80, let's put it to 90. And you can set the clock, what time you want it to cut in. The same with the day night time, you can adjust the settings. Down to, you can still see it. 30 was default, and you can set the time as well. Screen off. If it sets to zero, it will never turn off. If you set it to one second, let's see. Ah, oh, it only dims down. That was nice. Oh, there we go. Off. Let's see, screen off time, here we have it, let's put it to zero. Bluetooth password, you can change it, if you like. Data recording, I don't know about this one, it says on off, clear. Sorry. Protection delay time. This is the important one. Which needs to be, it's, it's, um, if it sets to zero, it will uh, trigger the relay immediately, or you can set a delay if you like. Zero current memory. I don't know about that one. Here we have an interesting thing. It is the relay you have. You have a normally open and normally closed. This is a normally closed one, which you see the connection is connected when it's not energized. But the normal relays is normally open. So, um, yeah, you can choose it. This is uh, something I'll do with the address for the computer. It's also something you can do like this. Low capacity reminder. 
You can add whatever you like. Yeah. It says in clear in text that is very nice. Over voltage protection, we set it to on the app. Here you can also set it. Like you want. Yeah. Low voltage protection is the same as on the app. You can choose. Yeah. Sorry, my mistake again. There we have charging current protection. I guess this must be some uh, charging current, max charging current. Discharge current, let's say it's, if you have a uh, BMS that is 100 amps, you can switch it to 100 amps. Overpower, it is watt instead of ampere and volt. Over temperature protection, that was the one we put into 25, what is this, that, not that. Oh, this is quick. <laughs> Over temperature protection, this is strange. Okay. It's better to do it on the app, I think. Okay, you can do it here as well. 48 degrees. Okay. Low temperature. Yeah, normally it says around zero. Let's say five. Protect the recovery time. time. Well, if this is zero, you will have to reset it manually. Here it will reset after the second you set. Display host, I don't know. On off. Reset the factory. Yeah. That was the display. Well, the one is more or less self-explaining, I hope. You have a recording for the, you can see how it's been done during the week or the lie day. This is not a touch screen, so you cannot touch anything here. And this is also nothing. It's only this that is the button. It's still a very nice display, very nice color, very bright and clear to see it. There you have it, guys. These new instruments from Yunsec battery monitors are very nice because of the negative battery protection, which I really love. It's important if you have a lithium battery, because they will not charge in low temperatures. <laughs> Very nice piece of equipment, and cost almost nothing. I will provide links for them up in the corner and down below, so you can check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.